HP have refreshed the Leapbook 865, now in its 10th generation. New AMD Ryzen 7000 series processors and iGPUs, brighter display panels and faster DDR5 memory. Is it enough to keep its AMD powered 16 inch business laptop on top? Let's find out. <music> The 865G10 hasn't changed much from the G9. It still has a stylish silver finish with black bezels around the display. The chassis is slim with curved edges. It is deeper than normal due to its 16x10 dimensions. Starting at 1.73 kilograms or 3.81 pounds, the G10 feels solid and well made. There's no flex when you hold it with one hand. The same can be said for the keyboard deck. The aluminium display lid is protected, but there is some flexing on it. To open the bottom cover, loosen the five Phillips captive screws and pry open. There are two SODIMM slots for memory up to 64GB DDR5. A single PCIe Gen 4x4 M.2 SSD slot is available for storage up to 2TB. The 76 watt hour battery is removable as well as the Wi-Fi card and there's room for the optional 4G LTE WAN card. This review model has a 16 inch BOE WUX GA IPS 16Hz low power display with a 1920x1200 resolution. Brightness is rated at 400 nits with a colour coverage of 100% sRGB. The 1610 aspect ratio lends to a productivity display with the added height. Using it day to day, the display is excellent in most conditions. Viewing angles are very good and colour accuracy is even good enough for light to medium photo or video editing work. Reflections are kept down with the anti-glare coating but don't work in direct sunlight or near a sunny window. The display uses a single hinge to open and close the lid. The screen will open almost to 180 degrees flat giving flexibility for optimum viewing angle. Tip, avoid the 250 nits display model found in the UK HP store. Stick with the 400 nits variant. Don't go for the shore view reflect 1000 nits model unless you really need the screen privacy feature. On the left side, we have a HDMI 2.0 port, a super speed USB type A 5 gigabits per second signaling rate with charging, two USB 4 type C 40 gigabits per second signaling rate, USB power delivery display port 1.4 and a smart card reader. On the right, we have a stereo headphone microphone combo jack, a super speed USB type A 5 gigabits per second port, nano Kensington lock and an optional 4G SIM slot. Wireless communications is taken care of with the MediaTek Wi-Fi 6E RZ616 2x2 and Bluetooth 5.3 wireless card. Wi-Fi coverage was excellent through a building over two floors in testing and the Bluetooth connection was reliable with the external mouse or speaker. The HP Premium keyboard has two level backlighting, spill resistant and comes with a useful keypad. Thanks to the deep dimensions, the keys are well spaced out and comfortable to touch type on for long periods. The customizable F12 key brings up the My HP app where you can set the key to launch an app, website, or open a file or folder. The generously large glass touchpad is comfortable to glide your fingers over, optimized by Microsoft Precision drivers, giving accurate finger multi-touch gesture support. The integrated mouse buttons are quiet to press on and give useful tactile feedback during daily use. The dual stereo speakers are located underneath the keyboard deck. Audio is clear even under high volume, great for video conferencing all day. There is AI noise reduction for the speakers to reduce unwanted background noises from remote participants, and the same for reducing background noise from your microphone. Music wise it's not bad for background listening to your YouTube music playlist with good mids and warm tones. Bass is missing from the G10. Here are some audio samples. The 5 megapixel webcam does a good job in most lighting conditions, even in low light, say a rainy dark day outside. Thanks in part to HP Presence, giving low light and backlight adjustments to the video quality. There's face tracking and auto framing to keep you in focus and looking beautiful in front of the camera. Definitely a webcam you can use all day for Microsoft Teams calls. This review model has an AMD Ryzen 7 Pro 7840U based on the Zen 4 architecture with 8 cores and 16 threads. Base clock is 3.3GHz up to 5.1GHz max boost clock. T2 
TDP is rated at 15 watts up to 30 watts. Compared to the Ryzen 7 7840U, the Pro versions offer additional security, manageability and reliability features for work environments. Combined with 16GB DDR5 5600MHz memory and a stick of Samsung 512GB PCIe Gen 4x4 NVMe M.2 SSD, it blows through most work tasks with ease, even to a point where you can happily code with it photo and or video edit on the G10. Tip, you will get better results with dual channel memory rather than single channel on this review model. For example, add a lover stick of 16 gigabytes DDR5 memory. For our performance test, we set the best performance mode in Windows and plug the laptop into the mains during testing. Here are the benchmarking results for the LeapBook 865 G10. 3D Mark Time Spy results came in with an overall score 1817, CPU score 7807, and a graphics score of 1601. 3D Mark Time Spy Extreme had an overall score of 855, graphics score of 751, and CPU score of 4074. PC Mark 10 had an overall score of 6260. Cinebench R23 testing produced a score of, in multi core, 12137 and 1567 in single core. Geekbench 6 gave a CPU score of 2,280 in single core and 9,110 in multi-core and 23,018 in the compute benchmark. Superposition resulted in a score of 2,942. Here's a comparison with the HP EliteBook 865 G9. AMD Ryzen 7 Pro 7840U sits only slightly below the AMD Ryzen 9 Pro 7940HS and the Intel i7-13620H. It's above the Intel i7-1360P and i7-1365U. During day-to-day -day usage, the G10 fan stays silent. Even with heavy load, the fan is barely audible. Even when the fan is spinning fast, the volume is only hitting 34 decibels. Same could be said for the temperatures on the G10. 36 Celsius or 97 Fahrenheit towards the left of the keyboard. 39 Celsius or 102 Fahrenheit by the vents at the top when running 3D benchmarking tools. The G10 is great at cooling the components inside, slightly warm to the touch on the chassis. Inside the 865 G10 is a modern RDNA3 graphics card iGPU called the AMD Ryzen 780M graphics with a graphics core count of 12 and a graphics frequency of up to 2.7 GHz. As the 780M uses the shared main memory, a dual channel memory configuration will eke out more performance. The AMD Radeon 780M is comparable to the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 in benchmarking results. The AMD Radeon 780M is the first iGPU to offer a usable level of gaming thanks to the new architecture and higher clock speeds. Demanding titles will be playable in low settings like Cyberpunk 2077 and Microsoft Flight Simulator. Older or less demanding titles will happily run in higher settings and 1080p resolutions. Here are some gaming samples. Security has always been a strong feature of HP business laptops. We have a ubiquitous fingerprint reader, webcam privacy shutter, TPM security encryption chip, and IR sensor for Windows Hello facial recognition. There's also a smart card reader for enterprise login authentication. On the software side, we have the HP Wolf Security Business Edition bundle of security tools. Threat containment, protect and trace hardware, malware scanning, and browser-based sure click, to name a few. The HP engineers have upgraded the battery in the G10. There's a 6-cell, 76-watt-hour battery compared to the 51.3-watt-hour in the G9. With 50% brightness and balance mode, video playback gave 12.5 hours battery life. With the same setup, light general work use, like web-based work, emails, Word, the G10 gave 10-plus hours on battery life. If you're constantly using the G10 for heavy work, at best performance and 100% brightness expect three and a half hours battery life. The G10 comes with a 110 watt external AC power adapter. Expect about 30% of charge in 30 minutes. There's also a USB type A port with USB output, 5 volts, 2 amps, 10 watts for charging your smartphone at the same time. Tip, don't go for the smaller HP long life 3 cell 51 watt hour battery model if you can. 
the good, the bad, and the really bad. Champion CPU. Low power processors doesn't mean sacrificing performance. The AMD Ryzen 7 Pro 7840U gives you the best of both worlds, oozing tons of power for the most demanding power user, but giving excellent battery life and near silent running. Impressive inputs. Targeted at business users, the G10 has a quiet, comfortable keyboard that you can easily type for long hours. The gigantic touchpad is smooth and precise, good enough to keep my Bluetooth mouse in the rucksack. Good webcam. A love and must for business users is a decent webcam for Teams or Zoom virtual meetings. The 5 megapixel webcam doesn't fail. Very good quality and less than decent lighting conditions, thanks to AI software enhancements, keeping you looking perfect in front of your work colleagues. Plethora of ports. Plenty of USB ports to shake a tree. Two USB 4 ports for 40 gigabits per second transfers, two legacy USB Type-A ports and a HDMI connector. An SD card reader and or an Ethernet port would have been the icing on the cake. Battery life. The 76 watt hour battery inside the G10 will easily give a day's work of battery life plus the added bonus of top performance. Time for 5G eSIM. As business users increasingly work from home, there's also a group that still travels and makes client visits with the G10. It's about time HP included an integrated 5G eSIM card so one can sign up to a prepaid data eSIM plan. UK mugs. Why does the UK HP store decide to sell the 865G10 with a poor 250 nits display panel and a smaller 51 watt hour battery? The US HP store sells G10 AMD variants with the 400 nits panels and 76 watt hour battery. We must have British mugs written on our forehead. If you were in the market for a 16 inch business laptop, what other laptops would you be looking at? In no particular order, here's some to consider. Lenovo ThinkPad T16 Gen 2 AMD. Dell Latitude. 7640 Intel, Apple MacBook Pro 16, Asus ExpertBook B5 OLED B5602 Intel, MSI Prestige 16 Evo A13M, Acer Travelmate P416 Intel. The LeapBook 865 G10 is a positive refinement of its already excellent predecessor, the G9. The AMD Phoenix U processor really hits a home run with phenomenal performance for the business power user, but frugal in its power usage. Thanks also to the low power display panel, offering all day battery life and silent running the majority of the time. For integrated GPU, the Radeon 780M is no slouch if you want a spot of after hours gaming. Tip. Upgrade to 32GB dual channel memory to get the most out of the 780M. The display is very good with decent image quality. If you keep away from the ridiculous 250 nits panel sold by the UK HP store, it's like buying a 128GB iPhone 15. Don't do it. The webcam is good for all day use. Same can be said for the quiet keyboard and large touchpad. A built in 5G SIM slot or eSIM would have been the icing on the cake, but not everyone needs one. There's plenty of ports to plug in your other devices without carrying adapters or a portable docking station. Overall, the HP EliteBook 865G10 is a Swiss knife of quintessential 16 inch business laptop. It has everything you need without compromising on anything. What do you guys think? Leave your comments and discuss below. Hope you guys enjoyed the review of the HP EliteBook 865G10 laptop. Please click on the like button if you enjoyed this review video and subscribe if you would like to watch more of our tech videos. Thanks for watching. Cheers.